Hello, everyone, and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, and if you enjoy commentary that's straight to the point without all the fluff, join our family. I personally love to have you. Most of us are familiar with the fictitious movie called The Blind Side, where it depicts a black teen who was adopted by some white people out of Tennessee, and they helped him to get in the NFL. This movie also won Sandra Bullock an Oscar and made the author of this book a New York bestseller. But as usual, the subjects of all these stories get nothing out of the deal. Let me explain to you how evil these people are. Allegedly, this whole time they lied to Michael Orr, telling him that he was adopted as a child. But instead, they had their friends who were attorneys draft up a conservatorship that he signed at the age of 18, which made them the recipients of any financial gain that was to come from his talent. According to the court docs, these people, the Tuhis, negotiated a contract for themselves and their natural born children when the movie came out. A contract worth $225,000 plus 2.5% of all future defined net profits associated with this boy's life, plus a donation of $200,000 was made to their foundation in their son Sean's name. Just so you know, this film earned over $300 million. And in the deal that these people worked out with the studio, they negotiated residual royalties for their birth children to the tune of millions. And he got nothing from a story about his life. And as far as the adoption that they allegedly lied to this boy about, they said that they had intended to adopt him but never got around to it. Their lawyer had the nerve to say that obviously they loved Michael because they provided him with shelter, food, and clothing. And even went so far as to buying him a vehicle. So they did, in fact, treat him like a son. Sidebar, I know dogs that get treated better than that, and they do nothing but sit around all day and lick themselves. With that said, the judge ruled on Friday that the conservatorship will end and added that she was disturbed by the agreement that was reached and that in her 43-year career focused on conservatorship agreements, she's never seen one that was reached with someone who was not disabled. The case is not over because Michael's lawyer has requested a full audit of all the funds that have been siphoned away at the hands of these people. The two he's are allegedly worth over a hundred million dollars. Their son, their natural born son, is in some athletic department at a college in Florida, while the daughter calls herself a motivational speaker and an author. And by the way, no one in that family has an athletic bone in their body. This is just another representation of the NFL where 56% of the players are black. There are only three coaches that are black. And there is not one team that is owned by someone black. I tell you, the jokes write themselves. Do you all think Michael will win this case and be compensated for the money he is owed? Or will they continue to use the system in their favor, as they've always done? Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you haven't already, remember to like the video and subscribe. Also, turn on your notification bell. And please watch when you're notified. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, stay tuned for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.